The day begins before dawn for Vernon Bishow's advanced media production students at Center High School in Sacramento County. We get here about 6.45, school actually starts at 7.40, 7.45, so we're here about an hour before everyone else is. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, Bishop. The students are here every morning, five days a week, to produce the school's daily yes. newscasts. So right here. Keep going. Back up. Back up. Let's just take it from the top. My zero period class is the advanced class, where I, there's a lot less lecture, where I'm not giving them an assignment that they all do together. The students are pretty much immersed in media. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. The newscast is created in Center High School's state-of-the-art TV studio, giving students the opportunity to experience a real-world television production environment. Your school. Your stories. The news you can use. What we do every day is the news you can use. What it is, is it tells all of our students and teachers and parents what goes on around campus any basically news you could use. So stay tuned because you don't want to miss this. Cougar Connection starts now. Okay, let's stop. What's going on with all the cameras? It's it's camera, one. One. It's it's camera, camera one. one. Oh, camera one. Okay, well that's right. It wasn't on one. It was on three the whole time. This isn't just another elective class. Students have to apply to be part of Center High's Media and Communications Academy, also known as MCA. From sophomore through senior year, students in the academy stay together and take core classes with the same teachers. You're building your story to, to that moment. We do all sorts of cross-curricular projects. So for example, you might have a project about a historical event in history and then you have to write an essay about it in English and then you'll have to do a PowerPoint about it in Spanish. So it's all cross-curricular and I love it. The Academy is part of a statewide model called the California Partnership Academies. It's one of 340 academies across the state, offering subjects as diverse as business technology, health sciences, engineering and design, and media. The Partnership Academy was an experiment to try to find innovative ways to teach students and reach at-risk students, keep them involved, and then get them into college, particularly as career focus. While Bishow technically produces the newscast, the students handle everything else, from directing to appearing on camera. Hello, Santa High School. I'm Juliet. Here is the news you can use for Thursday, January 25th, 2018. Probably the most fun is being able to work with everybody in the advanced broadcast. We all work together pretty well. We do all of these crazy projects and we get help from everybody. Everybody supports each other. It's, it's really awesome to be able to work here. My number one job is just getting the students to care about what they're doing. And once they care, I just have to keep out of their way. All right, can we do that last sequence again? <laughs> and I'll stay out of the way. Make sure you guys are on the right camera this time. Center High's program became so popular, Bishow began looking for ways to expand it. About eight or nine years ago, I started doing workshops for elementary school students to, to, to find out what kind of interest elementary students had in video production, and they're crazy about it. They love it. I met with the gate teachers, the gifted and talented teachers at the elementary school, and asked them if they'd like to do after-school programs incorporating video. All he had to do was say that he wanted to do something with TV production, and I was so excited to be able to bring that back to kids here. Susan Erickson teaches the after-school media class at Oak Hill Elementary, just a couple of miles from Center High School. The district hopes to create a pipeline for K-12 students interested in media. There are four positions, A, B, C, and D, and I'm A. I did a How to Play Handball instructional video and a documentary on how sunscreen affects coral reefs. I'm working on something called CPR for Kids, which is like most people think that you have to be older, like a grown up or older than 21 years old to do CPR, but it actually doesn't matter how old you have to be. These are fourth, fifth, and sixth graders who are coming up with these ideas. These students are from nine years old to 12 years old. And they're working in teams, sometimes multi-age as well. Whatever passion appeals to them, we let them roll with it. Right now, 
I'm actually working on one with three other people. We're doing a clay stop motion video on car pollution and how it affects us and the environment. Oh no, we're gonna move this way. Mentorship is a large part of MCA. Not only do students help each other, but several of Mr. Bishow's high school students travel to Oak Hill each week to mentor Mrs. Erickson's elementary students. Make sure you're talking to Calvin when you say, I'm working on it. So you say, not yet, but I am working on it. And you all so you have to go back to where it'll say, wait four seconds. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. It's really cool when the high schools come here because they are kind of like pros and they get to help us. So it's pretty cool. I help them work on writing a script, figuring out all the types of shot angles that they want to get and helping them go out and get those angles and all the shots and everything that they need. Help them with editing, publishing. I do the whole jig with them and I love it. When they work with the, with the younger kids and help them teach, they become better and, and they're more invested personally. So it's a win-win. The school's newscasts are at the heart of both media programs. At Oak Hill, the weekly program is called the Otter Outlook. Good morning, Otters. I hope you're having a marvelous Monday so far. I'm Kelly. And I'm Michael. Welcome to Our Otter Outlook is probably the most exciting thing that the kids get to do weekly because they're running a news show. And we have a news team that goes out and actually films in classrooms. All the teacher has to do is give us a call a day in advance, let us know about activities such as buddies working together, special art activity, science activity. Our news crew is on it. Every week you're doing something else, so you can be the cameraman, the director, the teleprompter worker, or the anchor. The hands-on skills, the teamwork, and the close-knit community not only inspired the kids, but the teachers as well. Everything they come up with there has no boundaries to them. They don't see walls or stop signs in anything they do. And so that just makes you just excited to make sure whatever they come up with, it's going to happen for them. We're going to work real hard to get it done. It's amazing to be able to look back on and be like, wow, I really have come so far because of MCA. Joining MCA was one of the best choices I've ever made. That's it for the news. You can use it back to you, ladies. See you next time. Career Academies first appeared in California public schools in 1984. Today, there are hundreds of California partnership academies, including a health sports medicine academy in the Bay Area, an oil technology academy in Kern County, and a teacher preparation academy in Los Angeles. Other academies focus on careers in solar energy, law enforcement, hospitality, and tourism.